abilities were taken from me with one exception. I would choose books and the ability to read them. Or, in 2016, perhaps a Kindle with electricity. Because with reading, I would learn how to regain all the things taken from me and learn much, much more. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and a sincere thank you to everyone involved with this great event for this honor and providing me the opportunity to speak here. My name is Tej Singh Maveja, and I am 10 years old. In my 10 years so far, I have lived in Thailand, China, Singapore, and Australia, and my hobbies are cricket, reading, playing guitar, technology, and my sister wants me to say playing with her. <laughs> During the very first online application, I was asked to state my favorite word. I racked my brain and with a flash of brilliance came up with the word interesting. Dad immediately shot me a glare that said clearly that's not very interesting. Then my brain really got to work and came up with dodecahedron, a 12-faced three-dimensional figure discovered by Leonardo da Vinci. It was logical, as I love mathematics, da Vinci is super cool, and I enjoyed the rhythm of a five-syllable word that had me bobbing do 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 I then had a Skype interview with a producer, followed by a panel interview with five judges, including dozens of questions, and each time a spelling test. I was then selected from almost 3,000 applicants to be one of the 52 for the show. In the very first episode, 52 was cut down to the final 26 to compete in the Great Australian Spelling Bee. During the show, I made some amazing friends around Australia. I also loved the different challenges and themes. I was attacked by a life-size dinosaur, played drums in a 12-piece band on TV, and saw a massive 10-meter pizza. I also loved the Speed Spell Challenge, since I felt like I was standing in a portal to another world. But especially since I had my ultimate bounce back moment, working really hard after missing out the first time to come equal first the next time I stepped up in that challenge. I learned so much from this experience, starting with the need to always believe in yourself. I'll be honest and say, I wasn't sure if Australian would want a little boy with a patka on his head. But being fearless got them to want me for my character, not my looks. Secondly, never ever give up. Can you imagine if Steve Jobs had given up either when he dropped out of college or when he was kicked out of his own company before coming back and creating the I Terms that have taken the world by storm. Lastly, there were many times during the auditions and the show when I felt scared and uncertain. Each time, I remembered I wasn't alone. Apart from the support of my family, I always knew I had God or Wahigu beside me day and night. With an ally like that, it made no sense to be scared. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate all the other youngsters honored here tonight for their incredible and inspirational achievements. And I would also like to thank my family for the, all the love and support they've given me throughout this journey. I stand here beaming with pride to be an Australian of Indian origin and a global Sikh. Thank you.